right. Good evening, everyone. We'll call the meeting to order at 6.06. Um, so if you are joining us this evening um, from the comfort of your own home and would like to participate in our meeting, you have a couple options to do that through GoToMeeting. Um, you can either join online from your phone or computer, or you can call in. If you'd like to join online and part watch, um, you can go to global.gotomeeting.com slash join slash 179-428-413, or you can use the access code 179-428-413 on the GoToMeeting app or you can call in using your phone calling 872-240-3212 and using that same access code 179-428-413. If you're joining us on the computer, you can just type us in the chat box to let us know that you'd like to comment, or you can, if you're on the phone, you can just unmute yourself and speak up on the agenda item that you would like to speak on. So. Um, with that being said, if everyone can stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do the roll call. Commissioner Todd. Here. Commissioner Doctor. Here. Commissioner Partridge. Commissioner Wetzel. Here. And Mayor Payne. Here. All right. Um, next item is approval of regular and workshop agendas. Do we have any changes to the agendas this evening? All right. Hearing none. Um, we have no proclamations, recognitions, or certificates of appreciation this evening. Um, I think city commission, or yeah, okay, never mind. Pu next is public comments for non-agenda items. Do we have any public comment on anything that's not on our agenda this evening? We have no online public comments. Okay. All right, next is city commission reports. Commissioner Ta. Alrighty. Well, I just wanted to um, let you know where we're on the library. The striping will be done this weekend, and so the parking will have to be over across the street at the Winn Dixie, and then just come over if you need to go, if you have any desire to use the library for the weekend on Saturday. We're closed Sundays. Um, also, I just want to wish everyone a safe and happy 4th of July holiday, and please be careful with the fireworks. As a nurse, I worked emergency, and I know the damage the fireworks can do, so please be safe and be aware of our birds and our turtles. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What's your doctor? A number of compliments have come in to our Park and Recreation Department for Triangle Park. I know they've been working hard and getting some new benches over there and some other work to be done, uh, but uh, a number of residents have recognized uh, the changes, and we appreciate their, uh, their recognition. Uh, also, I had talked uh, last week about the sidewalk repairs. Uh, Public Works has been out the last couple of days. I believe they are done. If not, there would only be one or two left, but I do believe Mike said they are done. They did a great job with them. Everything looks great, and they uh, did a great job in uh, diverting traffic around where they had to pour the concrete. Um, no complaints from anyone, and that's all good there on uh, Gulf Boulevard. And then the last thing I have is just to let everybody know to be looking for information on beach cleanup. Uh, there will be several different organizations that will be doing beach cleanup on July 5th. And uh, more of that information will be made available and I'm sure you'll see it in several different sites uh, and I believe even including the, the cities. So that's all I have. Great, thank you. Commissioner Wetzel. Uh, yes, not too much from my end. I just want to talk about the 84th Avenue beach access that there um, has been some erosion in the area and they are um, <coughs> removing the signage and the bench. And um, Amy, maybe you can clarify, can people still access the beach from that? Are they closing it all off or just not making it an official? We are signing it that it's closed. We hope that people um, 
respects the the fact that we do want it closed. Okay. Because um, it's it's eroding as you can see, and it's um, would it can be dangerous in terms of just a slip and fall. So that's what we're trying to avoid. And I'm familiar with that area, um, and it is quite a drop. So it is. Okay. Yeah. So we have um, uh, work to do with um, DEP to see if they'll let us do anything to fix that area. Okay. D is there a time frame on? There how isn't. Long it takes? Okay. We're just reaching out to them about it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. All right. Um, likewise, just wanted to wish everyone a happy Fourth of July, and um, our fireworks show is at Gulf Front Park but you can see it for pretty much anywhere in the city, so feel free to enjoy from the comfort of your own backyard. Um, we have parking that's available for $20 if you do plan on coming out, and the show starts at 9 p.m. That's it for my report. Next, we have approval of minutes. We have the meeting and workshop minutes from April 6th to approve. Do I have a motion? Sure, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes from April 6th. I'll second um, it. All right, any discussion? I still don't know. I'm sorry, I, I left off the workshop minutes. Oh, too. there it is. My bad. All right, any discussion, questions? All right, roll call. Are we voting on through the app? Both sets of minutes, correct? Yes. Both sets of minutes, yes, ma'am. Commissioner Toth? Aye. So Commissioner Doctor? Aye. Commissioner Wetzel? Aye. Mayor Payne? Aye. All right. We have nothing on the consent agenda. So our first item of business is approve a piggyback agreement with Comco Communications Installation and Service Inc. for the installation of IT cabling in the city center building. Good evening, Mayor and Commissioners. Um, as the this item before you uh, seeks approval to execute a, a piggyback agreement with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Comco, an IT and low voltage cabling contractor, um, as part of the city center renovation project, uh, the building is not surprising will require some updates to the technology. Um, if you've seen any of the wood cabinets in that building, you would know about the vintage of that building. So they need to do some uh, work to kind of get everybody wired for, you know, a modern workplace. Um, and rather than rolling these costs into the renovation bid, um, we had identified this uh, low voltage cabling and carved it out because we had found that uh, this provider Comco was actually on a state contract. So we had transparent pricing from the beginning and knew that we could pull that portion of the contract out and basically lock in uh, certain prices. Um, uh, Comco is one of is the uh, state approved contractor for the uh, Department of Management Services uh, Suncom t uh, telecommunications contract, and they have different regions all across the state. And Comco is the uh, contractor for this region. Uh, staff feels that the uh, transparent pricing received from this local vendor is the best option. Uh, for this project. Uh, the city's desire to work with a specific uh, vendor was disclosed in the uh, city center renovation, uh, the solicitation document, and New Vista, who is the uh, selected general contractor for the project, uh, will kind of will ensure that Comco will get incorporated into uh, the project at the correct <coughs> timeline, so they'll help uh, oversee that whole uh, process. Uh, it's a pr pretty straightforward item, so uh, with that, if you guys have any questions, I will happily answer them. Okay. Any questions for Mike? No. Does this, do we feel as though the, um, their pricing is like more competitive to what they, we would have got through Sun Vista? Um, because or the way Vista? we did the construction of the but the renovation contract, it's kind of hard to tell because we did it as like lump sum. So had we done it itemized, we probably could have seen, but being on a state contract generally has a, uh, it's generally market prices or better. Okay. Any other questions? No. All right, I'll entertain a motion. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve the piggyback agreement with Comco Communications Installation and Service Inc 
and authorize the mayor to execute the Comco Communications Installation and Service Inc. contract for installation of cabling in the city center building. I'll second. All right, any discussion? Any public comment? No online public comments. All right, roll call, please. Commissioner Toth? Aye. Commissioner Doctor? Aye. Commissioner Wetzel? Aye. Mayor Payne? Aye. All right, next is approved fourth amendment to the non-exclusive license agreement between the city and the Florida Fisherman Inc. DBA Hubbard's Marina, Mark Hubbard. Good evening, as a follow up to last week's um, <coughs> questions regarding signage we have worked with mr. Hubbard to agree to put um, signs on the podiums that he is permitted to have at the locations for the um, uh, ballet service as well as using yard signs in lieu of sandwich board so that was the only changes made in the contracts and mr. Hubbard is here again if you have any questions for him all right any questions for Kathy or mark no I'm just glad we solved the sign problem Right. <coughs> Absolutely. Right. All right. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion that we approve the Fourth Amendment to the non exclusive license agreement between the city and Florida Fisherman Inc. DBA as Hubbard's Marina and authorize Mark Hubbard to offer beach gear valet service daily at Gulf Front Park and weekends at the community center and the city center and to offer group paddleboard lessons with. The permitted use area. I'll second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All right. Any public comment? We have no online public comments. All right. Take a roll call. Commissioner Toth? Aye. Commissioner Doctor? Aye. Commissioner Wetzel? Aye. Mayor Payne? Aye. All right, item three is approve an amendment to the agreement with Passport Labs, Inc. for parking enforcement and citation collection services. Good evening again. Um, a little purchasing and a little parking item. Uh, this item seeks to uh, renew and extend our agreement uh, with uh, our city's uh, parking enforcement company, uh, Passport Labs. Uh, the city has been using Passport, formerly known as Complus, uh, for almost five years. And over that time, Passport has clearly demonstrated their value by drastically increasing our parking fines revenue. And it's kind of hard to calculate how their effectiveness is, but the, the, the fees have also increased as well. So the better your enforcement, the more people are gonna pay the fees, which is our, our whole goal for everything. I'd rather people pay the meter than pay the ticket. Uh, but still, having that uh, ticketing software there is, uh, keeps them from pay, you know, make sure that they pay the right thing. Um, as we've become more accustomed to Passport and our revenues have increased, uh, staff believe that we uh, had an opportunity to renegotiate uh, the terms of the agreement. Uh, in exchange for signing on to a three-year renewal, Passport will reduce the percentage of fines they keep from 16% to 12%. Uh, not, a, not, a ton of them, not a ton of money, but another few thousand dollars that will go to the parking program's profitability um, and assuming we, you know, this revenue continues to increase, there's other, you know, potential future savings uh, that can come from having cutting this uh, percentage back. Um, and it also provides us with another, uh, st the, the, excuse me, the stability of another three-year term with Passport, who's been a, a fantastic partner in uh, not just the enforcement, but also on the uh, collection side uh, of things too. And we're also, uh, we're kind of in the works with them negotiating they actually have a, um, a process that they're about to send out to the handhelds that the uh, officers use that's going to have something called a scoff file so they can see if anybody if that that license plate has had two citations or more in the past 48 months you know we can get that sort of data it's just another little feature and functionality that's coming out of the technology that we're using with them and it can help uh, kind of drive certain decisions um, as far as a parking enforcement goes in the future. So uh, with that, if you guys have any questions, I will happily entertain them. Is that just pertaining to Treasure Island parking history? 
like it's pulling up if they've had multiple violations? I, I think that it can be configured a bunch of different ways, but uh, the way it's currently configured is just uh, <coughs> Treasure Island. It's, so it's, we want to we want to tamp down our uh, right. our high volume uh, yeah scoff laws. There's, there's so if we have that so if we have that technology in place, we could restructure our fines. Would we be able to penalize? Like second, third time, or multiple repeat offenders. Yeah, with, with that data, it would uh, allow us to do different things with the fine structure. Okay, great. Can, can you walk through how um, it works? Luckily, I have a parking pass, so I haven't <laughs> had to get parking tickets here. But does um, the city, when you get a parking ticket, does it direct you to their website? Yeah. Uh, okay. About one in every hundred or so people fail to flip the ticket over, but there's instructions on how to pay it. There's an 800 number that you can call and pay uh, uh, over the phone, or you go to uh, their website and you basically put in all your credit card information, uh, or you can mail them a check. And it's actually sent to a, uh, their business is located in Terrytown, New York. That's their clearing house. They process all the checks, and then they just send, uh, or all the payments and send us the, uh, the net difference that we just uh, collect. And, and if they send checks, since they're made out to the city, whatever that the current percentage is, we send a check back to them for that percentage of it. And if uh, somebody doesn't pay, then it goes to collections on their end? After, or After 15 days, the 14 or 15 days, the ticket doubles. So if it's a $60 fine, it goes to 120 and then stays there. Um, I think after a certain point in time, it goes to, like they actually will send it to the uh, clerk of courts and it um, becomes a, a deficient delinquent ticket. And I, I think it, it's one of the things that we can do. I don't know, uh, I, I, I would, I'd rather speaking out of turn, I'd rather let the, uh, the police weigh in to see exactly which tickets they do send to the clerk of court and which ones that they don't. But they have got a, we've got a pretty high uh, payment rate, uh, enforcement rate for uh, the citations. I, I probably should know this, but I, do you know if it ends up in a license suspension then, like a D6 suspension? I, I we, we can, because it's a city citation, I, that is an, another opportunity. I, I don't know it, at what level the uh, the license becomes suspended. Well, I'm not advocating no. for No, that. no, no, no. I, 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 not, I don't know at what level. I think so. that the license suspension punished the people who can't afford it enough, so I'm not advocating for license suspensions. I was just curious. It, I, I don't believe it's a first strike, but I, I can get that information. I can get uh, probably the, uh, the police to provide some sort of, uh, you know, when do they send it to what level and see if they can have like a little better breakdown. Yeah, I, if, if I can just, I think that we, that was when the clerk of courts did that for us, but I think right now we're in just a collection kind of mode. So there's not a penalty unless they go to site, they fight the traffic ticket yeah, and they go to court. Um, but if they don't pay, then basically it's through a collection process established by Passport. Okay, because I know that the clerks, is, they're pretty ruthless. It, on yes, and they used to, so we had it with the clerk of courts like five years ago before we went to Passport, and for non-payment, they would just suspend your license. Right. <clears throat> and it was immediate. And um, some people wouldn't know about it. I mean, they were supposed to know about it, but I think it often you know, fell through the court. But I think that we're through a collection process now, and they're not suspending licenses for non-payment unless it's pursued in other manners. Um, yeah. But we'll double check that. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's good because they do suspend licenses without anything. And if the, the DMV, they just send a notice that your license is suspended to the last oh. address. So if you move and <coughs> God forbid you don't update your address right away, mm -hmm. then you don't know your license is suspended. And it's really hard to reverse those I mean, I want people I, to pay their tickets, but. I don't, well, Passport wouldn't do that on our behalf, and we haven't asked them to ever do anything like that, so. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're, we're, we're still on questions, so we need a motion. No, we, no we're good. I, I just want to, I, I like the idea eventually of being able, with the repeat offenders, mm -hmm. that would be something that we, it's a good resource to do because then we could also track and trend where that's occurring and you know times a day and and why yeah. 
until you, know. you have the data, you just don't know. So exactly, it data. is cool. <laughs> well, and with that, I think I've I've received some comments of like, "Wow, your like initial fine is like really steep," and I know we did that because we didn't have that mechanism in the past to ratchet it up based on repeat offenses. So maybe we could even lower the first time one because that was, I think, part of the reasoning for bringing it up was because you just they could just pay it over and over again and so something to be discussed down the down the road there's, there's always something to be <coughs> changed in parking yeah <laughs> all right do we have a motion sure I'll make a motion we approve and authorize the city manager to execute a three-year extension of this current agreement with passport labs I'll second okay any further discussion no all right do you have any public comment we have no online public comments all righty. Uh, do a roll call, please. Commissioner Toth? Aye. Commissioner Doctor? Aye. Commissioner Wetzel? Aye. Mayor Payne? Aye. All right. With that, we will adjourn our regular meeting and reconvene for our workshop in just a moment of seconds. <coughs> We have to use it to make the motion in the second for that to come up. Unknown. Unknown. Okay. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> They're not. So what's the mailbox in the what's the icon for that? So that information from us along with the drop box. Muted. <coughs> All right, we got the Yes. Go for it. All right. Call our workshop to order at six twenty eight. Unmuted. Um first thing up is city manager and city attorney reports. I don't have a report tonight other than to wish you all a happy 4th of July. Thank and I have you. the exact same report. <laughs> Wonderful. Man, we could have done you that. cheated on each <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we don't have anything for discussion on tonight's workshop. Uh, do we have any public comment that hasn't already been given? We have no online public comments. All right. With that, we'll adjourn our workshop.